Hi, my name's Amal. I'm the guy in the back in the gray shirt. I'm 15 years old and I'm teaching at a secondary school in Isiolo, a region of northern Kenya. Hi, my name is Connor and I'm the guy on the right in the blue shirt. I'm also 15 years old and Amal and I are with two other students from our school in Toronto, Canada. With our teacher, we brought eight OLPC laptops and taught the students how to use them. Before we go into any more detail, let's rewind back a bit. At the beginning of ninth grade, we used the OLPCs in our computer engineering class. We began to think, what if we took these computers to students around the world? Mark Batley, the head of digital media at our school, proposed that we go to Kenya during March break, where we would bring some of the laptops to a school called Ntugi Day Secondary School. We would teach the students about the OLPCs, but we also hoped to learn about the students' culture. Before going, we had to find a way to charge the laptops and to also connect them to the internet. Since solar energy was the only practical option for power, we researched different types of panels and eventually chose a brand to use. Next, we did some research and realized that we might be able to deliver wireless internet to the school via a cell phone signal. Safaricom, Kenya's largest phone company, provides coverage all over Kenya. We had the idea of using one of their USB modems to bring the internet to the school. That worked, but we still needed a way to use the signal from a single Safaricom SIM card to create a wireless network for the entire school. That's where CradlePoint and their amazing portable wireless technology came in. We used CradlePoint routers in conjunction with the Safaricom modems to bring the internet to the OLPCs. Furthermore, CradlePoint even agreed to send us free units for use at the school. When we arrived, the solar panels weren't charging the OLPCs. With the assistance of Joel, a local solar contractor, we combined the eight panels into one big panel, which was able to power not only the laptops, but also the CradlePoint units. We also installed a battery so that the laptops could charge overnight, and a charge controller to regulate the current flowing into the battery. Before we arrived at the school, we were worried that the students wouldn't respond well to our lessons, since we're younger than most of them. Once we arrived, we met our first class. We brought out the laptops, but the students were intimidated and didn't want to try them. Eventually, a few people began to start using them, and shortly, everyone was having fun on the laptops. We eventually taught every student in the school how to use the laptops and access the internet, and we encouraged them to join the new computer club. Here, they could learn more about the laptops and pass their knowledge on to others. After we left, the school was even able to create their own website about school events and news. It's now been seven months, and Tugi has 20 laptops. They're using them in their classes, and some of the students even have their own Facebook pages. The trip was really great because the learning was mutual, as we learned about each other's lifestyles and cultures. We hope that we have shown you how we made a world of difference, but also how the world has made a difference to us.